Okay, so, all right, so uh, this is Derek J here, and I'm here October 6th with Shepard. Yeah. How you doing today, Shepard? I'm good. What I'm brings good. you out here today? Well, I, um, I was with Occupy Philly uh, from day minus three. Uh, so I was here throughout the occupation. Um, I didn't sleep here. I, I have a family, so I went home every night, you know, stayed with some GAs, you know, here and there, you know, as much as my wife would feel uh, was a comfort level of hers. And uh, we've been, uh, since Occupy was, uh, you know, evicted, we've been working on um, getting money out of politics ever since. We were one of the Occupy Philly's uh, Money Out of Politics working group, and have since um, the eviction, I've connected with Philly Root Strikers, and uh, our Root Strikers, the organization, we're a local Philly uh, group of that, and so we just came down here to, to be able, well, number one, to see everybody, because it's been, you don't get to see everybody all the time, yeah. um, and then two, uh, to be able to tell everybody about what we have coming up in the fall. What is it that you have coming up in the fall? Well, we have a press conference uh, at uh, the Federal Court Building by Independence Mall on 6th Street uh, for the on Tuesday, which is when the Supreme Court hears the McCutcheon versus FC, FEC case, which is to um, actually try to um, make legal uh, aggregate contributions to uh, for elections. Wow! So you know that's just one of the first steps that they're planning on doing. You know, first with Citizens United by allowing you know unlimited. Uh, uh, contributions to issues and then now with the McCutcheon case trying to allow total contributions to have no limit which just gives pretty much people with money control over our uh, election system and influencing our politicians and marginalizing everybody else and so then we have a March Against Monsanto is coming up on October 12th at the Independence Mall we've been helping out with that because uh, the reason why Monsanto can um, pretty much insert legislation into our bills without anybody knowing it. Um, the way they can, you know, to prevent them from actually being held accountable for poisoning us. Uh, the reason why they fight, um, can overcome resolutions in California uh, to label GMO products is because they have money that influences our politicians. And they can obviously influence that legislation. So we're supporting them in that regard because money in politics, we believe, is the root cause of many other problems that we see in America today. And so, um, if we, we don't see our issue as more important than others, we just see it as the first issue that needs solving, so other issues have more of a chance to be solved. And then we have a March Against Corruption on November 2nd. Very cool. Tell me more about yourself. You said you got involved in Occupy Philly uh, at the beginning, day minus three. Yeah, yeah. Tell me more about what influenced you to uh, get involved. Well, I was involved with other volunteer and community uh, action groups. Prior, you know, I was kind of sifting around, finding, uh, I don't know, an outlet to be able to create positive change. Um, I was with a group called, uh, have you ever heard of the music group Flight with uh, Flowbots? Yeah. So I was, I was in with, I did Flight with Tools. Uh, I was directly involved in that. And so we did, you know, we were a Philly um, street team and we did community outreach and, you know, different things and the Fed. And we did a lot of different things like that. And when that dissolved after Obama, it's like, hey, Obama's elected. Now we can stop. It's like, no, this is just the beginning. And it dissolved. And so I saw Occupy Wall Street. I was watching them for a while. Um, for that first month and just like this is it this is but I can't couldn't get to New York um, And stay up there. So when I heard it was here I saw a chance to be able to engage in like-minded individuals about that There's something wrong with America and you know A lot of the avenues of change that we have in this country have been taken away from us And so I saw this as a way to be able to change that dialogue and get involved with other people that wanted to Were you here the day that the police ransacked the Occupy Philly tents? Yeah. Um, what was that like? And uh, what was it like, especially as a person who has been a part of the movement for so long and has a family? Well, it was it was hard. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, I mean, the Philadelphia did, in comparison to a lot of other cities, did a pretty decent job of it. Um, but a lot of it was, there was a lot of excuses, a lot of bullshit, a lot of national coordination, which really put a sour taste in the mouth. But when they were there, you know, Occupy, a lot of people had a lot of uh, love, a lot of dedication to what we were there for, regardless of the problems that occurred. Um, and so you had that passion on one side, and then you had orders on the other, regardless of what another another group of people really felt, you know what I mean? And so, you know, it was hard to, to witness that. Uh, you know, I promised my wife I would not get arrested. And so I literally had to just stand in support 
which was even harder uh, because you saw other people kind of like resisting nonviolent civil disobedience and um, to just be a support mechanism is, is, is as hard as being in, well maybe not as hard, but it, it is hard to, to be there and watch people get corralled by horses. You know, we had uh, one of our friends actually ended up getting like bumped or kicked by a horse, you know what I mean? So, you know, the cops were corralling them with with uh, with their bikes, the bike cops were. So, you know, in a chaos of that nature, it's kind of hard to place blame on anybody, but the reality is, is that, you know, it's just hard to watch the police enforce something without taking into consideration the humanity of the people that they're obviously enforcing it on. And yes. they're, unfortunately, they're one of the, the pillars of, you know, uh, society that really needs to kind of come around and realize that we're all being duped. And that was the, one of the harder parts, really. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Right. Now, uh, last question. You've been very generous with your time, and I'm very sympathetic to your causes. Um, but I want to ask you about your bandana. Are you wearing it ironically, or do you support the American empire? Oh, gosh, I know. It's, uh, okay, so try to make a brief comment. So when I was with Fight With Tools, this was something that they did, you know, because they were taking their symbol back. Because at the time, there was a lot of you know, pro-war, patriotic sentiment in the country. And there was a lot of people that said, just because you're protesting something that you felt was wrong in this country, that you didn't have, you weren't a patriot, right? And that you weren't, it wasn't your stars and stripes, it wasn't that. Um, it's harder now because, you know, I've started getting more into the Christian anarchism uh, field of thought. And so you don't want to necessarily wear this as a legitimizing symbol of the state and what they promote. But at the same time, you know, labels and get taken by people that, that use them for their own purposes. And I feel like the more that we can take those labels away from those people that, you know, there's a lot of people that believe in good uh, of America and you don't want to necessarily leave that, the symbols that we do hold dear, whether they be misdirected or not. Um, tarnished by those people that just take them. It's, it's, it's everyone's. Very cool. So I, I, I still do it. Plus, I wore it almost every day at Occupy, so I didn't want anybody to not recognize me. <laughs> well, so it's almost a recognition <laughs> Sure, too. sure. Everybody's like, oh, Shepard. Where can people learn more about you, Shepard? All right, so if you go on uh, rootstrikers.org, rootstrikers that's our national organization. They will be able to provide you a lot about what we're doing, uh, both uh, locally as well as nationally. But we also have a Facebook page, Philly Root Strikers, at, on, at Facebook. Um, or you can reach us through phillyrootstrikers at gmail.com. So, you know, by all means, if you're in Philly, come on out. Uh, you know, friend us, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to, to fight the corrupting influence of money over government together. Thank you, Shepard. Oh, my pleasure, man. That was terrific. Yeah, yeah, and you Thanks have information? Yeah, yeah, I do.